right, we are going to start off with Gelish Foundation. And you guys know I use this quite a bit under my nails. I am trying to use it up, but I truly love Gelish Foundation. And what I'm doing is I'm going around the cuticle first, and then I kind of make it go out to the rest of the nail because I find if I do that, then I can be super precise around the cuticle and then drag it down into the middle, almost like if I was applying normal gel. And I still have some gel on my nails. So we are going to do a little bit of a fill and then get into the design. Now taking that Jimmy gel, again, I'm going right in front of the cuticle and then I push it back. And I find for me, that is the best way that I can apply the Jimmy gel is placing it down. I would say if you divide it into fours, I'm down two third or <laughs> two thirds, three fourths of the nail to push it back in with that first layer. And then I also drop the bead in that same position that way towards the cuticle i'm not going to get a bulge it kind of just drifts into the cuticle and then i walk it down the nail and again i'm using my line of light i will be filing these before we come in with the buttercream but i find if you use your line of light and you keep it super super thin and you don't have to do a lot of filing so some people may ask what the line of light is see on my pointer finger that line is straight but there's a little bit of a dip in there like towards the middle or the one i'm using now you can see it's not perfectly straight the line of light means if it's straight that means you have a nice dome effect and that is the best way that you can tell if you have applied your gel super smooth or not perfection this is one of my favorite nudes if not my favorite nude buttercream and i always start the same i put it down three fourths and i had too much on my brush and then i push it back to the cuticle because again you don't want that bulge towards the cuticle and then i come around the outside and then fill in the middle so once you kind of have that smooth outside then you kind of come in the middle and fill it in with anything that you guys need to do so again coming down pushing towards that cuticle walking it down the side by the cuticle so i did it straight back and then i come to the left and i come to the right and that way i can get my outsides perfect 
and then I can go ahead and work on the inside and getting that nice smooth We're gonna come in with a second coat and we're gonna do this super fast that way it's just the same thing I apply it the same way kind of towards the middle back towards the cuticle and then come up and now we are going to take these cat eye I already did my thumb because I didn't want to sit there and waste everybody's time now I flood this cuticle so bad so don't do what I do here so this specific polish yeah you can see I moved this specific polish needs a decent amount because it's so thin and that's why it's super runny but i was applying it and i was like okay maybe i can just apply it smooth and then clean it off no it just did not work out that way so i do clean it don't worry i'm looking at this painfully so now i am fixing that nail and coming in again you want a little bit more i know that sounds counterintuitive with gel but this is a super clear runny gel so i found putting a decent amount on was the best to achieve the look i'm going for now take your magnet and what i'm doing is just going on the outsides don't worry i show you many times i apply the gel and then i take it to the left right front and back and that way it makes it push the metal pieces i guess i mean i guess it has to be metal so it's essentially rejecting the metal inside of it so what it's going to do is push it towards the middle and that's what's going to give you that really cool cat eye bubble effect and i just find this so cool i don't know and then when i saw it in nude i just had to i think a nude pink would look good um i will have a whole swatch video of these and showing you the different colors I got because they're really cool but this video is gonna go up first I think so when I do have it I will put it up in the right hand corner so again we're applying a generous amount and I'm fixing how I want because I'm not gonna be filing this so you could turn your hand upside down if you find it running too much but I did okay with this so left right front back so you can see I'm pushing all of it in the middle. You can see it moving there. And it's just the coolest effect. I love this effect so much. So I will go ahead and let you guys watch the last two.
right, thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.